You know, as we said at our groundbreaking, this whole Shine Project and initiative is for the glory of God and is to be built upon the foundation of the Word of God. Well, we're here this morning because the concrete is being poured here for the lantern, and uh, we have a block just beneath me here, which is uh, upon it a scripture which exemplifies really what the Shine Project is all about, and that is so that the generations to come, the generations yet unborn, would hear, know, and cling in faith to the testimony of God and the gospel of Jesus Christ. So the block that's right beneath me here, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, have it here, and the concrete is going to be poured over it, so that, uh, in a real way, the foundation of the church is built upon the Word of God. And as we know, Jesus Christ says He is the cornerstone, and He is in Himself the Word. <laughs> That's why you got boots on, not dress shoes. <laughs> Now that the concrete floor has finally been poured, there's steel beams up right now if you look outside, and the Student Center is almost finished. We're excited to begin the new chapter in the SHINE Initiative. Now our motto has been grace and flexibility, and this will continue to be for the next couple of months. Coming up, starting on January 7th, 2024, the Celebration Center and current office areas will be closed off completely as renovations and new construction begins in earnest. This is a very significant change for the entire church. But remember, it's a temporary one. Also beginning on January 7th, our Sunday encounter services will be right here in the sanctuary, and the Wednesday classes that take place will be down in the school end of the campus. Our current entrance will remain as the main entrance, but the parlor will be turned into an office area, among other areas throughout the campus. So please be gracious and flexible, as that room will no longer be available during our Sunday services. Now with the Celebration Center closed, that also means our kitchen is closed. So one of the biggest questions on everyone's mind is this. Will we still have our meals on Wednesday evenings? The current plan as of this recording on Friday, December 15th, is yes, we will have our meals down in Hess Hall. However, there are a number of circumstances outside of our control that may limit our ability to do this, so that is subject to change and we appreciate your prayers in this matter. We'll keep you informed over the next few weeks as this develops. As the leadership and staff are busy relocating throughout the campus, it can be pretty challenging to continue to serve our community at the same time, so we really appreciate your support, grace, and prayers as this next exciting chapter unfolds in our church. As far as grace and flexibility goes, please remember what an amazing quote-unquote problem this is to have. Most churches in America average 70 people a weekend and can't even fill their parking lot. Most importantly, all of this is happening because of Jesus and His grace. And all of this is for Jesus to be honored and lifted up. And all of this is for as many people to know Jesus as their personal Savior as possible throughout our community, state, country, and the world. To God and God alone be the glory.